Let's talk now to Marta Soriano, uh, relocation specialist in Valencia. Uh, we spoke to her last week, of course, uh, when those terrible floods were happening uh, in that part of southeast Spain. Um, the floods have still been continuing, I think, but they've abated slightly. Yesterday, though, uh, we had, uh, as we were seeing earlier, that's some of the damage you can see there. Uh, the king and queen of Spain went down to Valencia to see uh, the damage and to see the people there, and they did not exactly get a very warm welcome. Uh, let's have a quick look. They were basically being shouted at by the people down there, being called murderers, uh, and that was the King and King Felipe and Queen Letizia walking through the muddy streets. They had mud thrown on them, uh, pelted by people there who were very, very unhappy. Um, let's talk to Marta now and find out uh, what's happening today. Marta, very good morning to you. Good morning, Mike. I mean, some people have said it was quite brave of, of the King and Queen to go down there. I suppose they weren't expecting that kind of reception, though. Well, it's uh, very interesting how uh, we are seeing all these videos um, of the king and the queen who actually stayed on during this visit. Uh, they arrived with the prime minister and the regional uh, government, Carlos yeah. Mazón, uh, who had to be rushed out. So uh, the actual king and queen stayed on. They were pushing, they were being protected by these umbrellas by their security team and they actually stayed on to listen to listen to all these complaints about mm. the organizing of the rescuing and the help which has been a complete disaster because surely that would be more down to the politicians than it would be to the king and queen right that's right um it's true that the the king is the head of the army so there is a shout out that the army was too slow to come and this is what people were actually asking them to explain how they had waited four days for uh, serious machinery and uh, large numbers of uh, army coming in to help and move all these mountains of uh, cars that have been destroyed and that are stopping the help from arriving. So yes, I think internationally we're seeing at the king and we're seeing the king and queen, but the fact is that they arrived with the prime minister and the regional government. And I think that's who they were shouting at. Of course, there's a general frustration, so they were also complaining to the king and queen. Mm. But I think it's important to clarify. Yeah, their anger was mostly directed at the politicians. Now I get that. Um, seeing those pictures of the cars all piled up in the streets must be um, terrible for people who live in those streets, because presumably um, until that's all cleared away, there's nothing you can really do. Well, that's the thing. Uh, there is There are mobility restrictions now, uh, exactly because what they need to, they need to clear the, the open roads. So heavy machinery and tractors uh, can actually mm. clean these streets. And until those cars are removed, uh, there isn't much uh, people can do on foot. They are even restricting the access of people wanting to help that are coming in a sea of people are coming uh, i think on friday there were around ten thousand volunteers who turned up at the city of sciences so they could be transported into these areas to help they have brooms they have all sorts of uh, uh, equipment to to just push the mud and now what they need to do is remove these cars and pump all the water out of underground garages yeah. because still a lot of water and until that's done there isn't much rebuilding to right. be done and has anyone put a price on how much it's going to cost and who's going to pay for it they are not even uh, counting uh, debts we are i don't think there's an estimation of economic cost mm. uh, you have to consider that it's a million people that have been affected, 69 villages around Valencia, and all the businesses and houses yeah. at the ground floor level have disappeared. Wow. 
at mm. six villages with no ground floor level business uh, services or housing mm. and what's the actual death toll now what does it stand at the official death toll now is 217 oh. uh, there's a lot of uh, rescuing to be done a lot of uh, underground garages to be open and uh yes so i think the numbers will be much much higher yes it's a terrible terrible story marta really appreciate your time thank you very much indeed marta soriana uh, their relocation specialist in valencia